Hi everybody, so in this video I want to show you how you can install the um, Deer Isle map and uh, Steam Workshop mod on your Nitrado Daisy community private server. So if you don't know about it already, um, just do a search on YouTube for Deer Isle. It's this amazing, amazing uh, map made by um, John McLean. Um, and uh, it's beautiful uh, it's constantly being updated it has lots of little secret places to explore um, and it's a fantastic addition to, to daisy i know there's a lot of focus on the mouse at the moment but we shouldn't forget about deer isle so it all kind of starts as most things with uh, modding daisy in the steam workshop so go to go to steam go to community go to workshop search for daisy so that you get to the uh, Daisy Workshop and then you'll, you'll see Deer Isle. And then what you want to do is subscribe to Deer Isle and that will then start the mod downloading. Now, unlike other mods, the files that you need to get Deer Isle to work on your server aren't actually included in the Steam Workshop download. You actually need to go to um, the, uh, the website for Deer Isle um, and then you go to download and license here. I'll put links to all this in the description down below. And then you scroll down and you read through the terms, which are basically, you're not allowed to monetize. Um, well, you're not allowed to break Bohemia Interactive's rules about monetizing DayZ servers, um, which basically means that you have to have permission of Bohemia Interactive to monetize your server. Say you had a, um, so for example, in my case, I have the private servers where we have Chernerus and Livonia. And I charge people access for those, you know, a couple of bucks a month to to maintain them and to kind of create a, a paywall. Um, you can't you can't do this with 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 Deer Isle unless you've got permission to do so off Bohemia Interactive. And you're not allowed to take stuff out as well. This is an interesting one. You are not allowed to remove any vanilla content via third party mods or tools from the map for your private server. But you can add stuff in other mods. And once you once you're cool with that, you you, you click that button, and that will take you to a mega download site um, and there you can download it and you'll end up with um, a zipped file like this and then you want to unzip it you know right click extract files and then you'll have the files now the one that you're interested in is the empty dot deer isle file um, that's the missions folder if you've done a bit of modding you'll be you'll be familiar with that that means that this is where all the good stuff is so we've got that downloaded as well um, so next thing we want to do is we obviously want to have a, a server ready to go but now you want to fire fire up your FTP client again I won't go into details in this video about how to use an FTP client I use FileZilla but it's a way that you can get your computer to talk to your remote server and transfer files um, and then what we want to do is you want to say I don't know, file um, connect to your your server so what you can see here is on the left hand side this is my local computer on the right hand side this is my remote server on Nitrado and then what we want to do first is we want to put the map pack onto the server so if we scroll down see this one that says MP missions here if we make that bigger you'll see I've already put it on but what we need to do is we need to find that on our local PC if I go back to my um, file explorer and we go to here in this line here at the top in the address bar well what would be the address bar on a browser if you if you right click it it gives you uh, the um, the destination for that folder so I can copy that go back to FileZilla left click paste it into there press enter and there we go so there we have dear I files empty dot dear Isle. so I'd click on MP missions on the right click on empty dear Isle on the left right click upload and that will then upload the missions over to here next thing we want to do is we want to um, install the mod parts of it now these, these are somewhere different um, depends on your computer where you put them there's lots of different ways of finding them but let me show you where, where how I find them on my PC um, so I install all my day to day stuff on local disk C, so I click in here. And what you're looking for is a is a folder, and, and you know you can just search for this program files x86, and in that you'll find the Steam folder, and in that you'll find the Steam apps folder, and within that you'll find the common folder, and within that you'll find the DayZ server, 
and within that you'll find the workshop folder and this is where the mods are now there is an easier way of doing this you can fire up the daisy launcher in fact let me show you how to do it now <laughs> uh, let's just minimize all this stuff so if you fire up the daisy launcher and then you go to your mods like so and you go to your dear isle mod or any mod and you click on this little arrow here and then click on these three little dots and click on open folder in windows explorer it will give you a warning saying look don't, don't muck around with these files because you'll break your game because if you say okay they'll then open up a folder and it'll take you straight there now the reason why i kind of i didn't do that before is because i think it really helps to really understand where these folders are sitting on your computer and how they relate to the the version of daisy that, that you run locally to play daisy and then the files that run your server but anyway so once we, once we know where they are so if we look down here it says at dear isle so this is where we need to go so again at the top if we uh, left click in the address bar we can then right click copy we can then go to filezilla and up here we can then left click there right click paste press enter and that takes us to the workshop and if we scroll down there's dear isle so we can left click that left click daisy standalone right click dear isle upload and that will upload them see I've already done it okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the keys or the key for dear isle um, is, is on the server as well so the key is really important the keys kind of it's what it does is it makes sure that your local version of daisy that you're playing daisy on and the remote server they're both playing like the same um, the same mod I think it just checks one against the other and says yep you've got the right key let's let let's play so what we can do is, is if we scroll down in the right you'll see the keys folder so you've already got I've already got it there actually there's the daisy key and there's the dear Isle key but where it actually is is if you scroll down on the left to go into dear Isle, go into keys see there is dear Isle by key so just make sure we're clicked on keys on the right and then over here on the left we can right click upload and that will put that key into there so, so that's all the basics done now so what we need to do now is we need to go to our server and we need to tell it to start running um, dear isle so again this is one i've already set up so this is the nitrado interface with all my servers on got quite a few now so we just go into the web interface for that server so you'll end up with at the dashboard and then we want to go into the general settings first and then then what you want to do is you you, you want to stop the server Whenever we're editing, wherever we're modeling, wherever we're doing stuff like that, you just want to you just want to make sure it's stopped. And you want to click on expert mode, and then you want to save the changes. Um, this allows you to access other stuff, and then just go through the settings, make sure you've got everything clicked that you want to. And then in additional mods down here, this is the really important thing. We want to put at capital D, little e, little e, e, e little r, little l. Uh, S I L E. Now, if you're not sure with your spelling, what you can do is if you just go back to the workshop, you could just left click that gently and then right click it, copy, and you could just paste that in there. Okay, so that's Dear Isle. So we're saying to the, the server, please run with the Dear Isle mod. And we're not quite finished, so we've clicked expert mode, we've saved. Um, click save changes so that means we've now got this additional menu item down here on the left expert settings you should be able to see so if we click on expert settings you click on that that will then take you to this rather complicated file um, it's um this is the daisy uh this is the server dz.config file now if you run a local server on your pc you're a bit familiar with this but with quite a lot of web hosters you don't get direct access to this file you know you can't just upload your own version you've got to edit it but this is where at the top you can put in host name so you can put the name of your server you can put your password in admin password um, don't mess around with maximum players or anything like that but as you scroll down on the right it's very good this file actually for being interactive they do explain a lot of the stuff that does so disable third person disable crosshair you can put in your system time acceleration and your nighttime acceleration all that sort of stuff um, but what we're interested in is here see where it says class missions and we got template equals 
empty dot um, deer aisle. So what we want to do here is again, you can just type empty dot deer aisle, or if you're not sure about your spelling, if you um, go to the folder, left click it, you could copy that, go back to the web interface, and you could just paste that over the top, and that means you'll get the, the right um, you you get the right spelling. So then what you do is again with the stop server, what you'll see down here is you'll see save. So you click save, and then you can click restart, um, and that's it. Dear Isle will be running on your Nitrado Daisy server. It's fantastic map. It's beautiful. It's definitely worth looking at. Um, and you can add, obviously, add your other mods to it as well. Your, your CF, your Zombri, you know, all that sort of stuff. And in fact, on the Deer Isle website, there is an FAQ on how to install Daisy expansion as well with it, so you can fly around with a helicopter. And there's offline mode as well. Uh, obviously, you can install it as a local server if you want as well. Um, and there's a there's a fault finding um, section as well, which is very very useful. One final thing I will mention as well before I go is day z now i haven't had a chance to really look at this in in great detail yet but if you become a patreon um to uh, to the to deer isle server you get access to the deer isle database editor um, which enables you to edit things like the loot table on um deer isle but also on churnerus now he goes on to say that it's in it's in beta but it looks incredibly powerful. So I'm looking forward to having a play around with that. And obviously if you are using Deer Isle on your on your server, you know, why not throw um why not throw John McLean a uh, a couple of bucks a month to support his work because he's done all this basically by himself and he's bought an awful lot of uh, the assets as well to use in the map. Um and uh, put in hundreds and hundreds of hours of work um, and and uh, he's doing an amazing job so you know if everybody ran a day day uh, deer isle server chucked him a couple of couple of bucks a month i'm sure he could probably go full time <laughs> and do it do it that way anyway that's enough from me hopefully you found the video useful if you have click the like button if you'd like to see more of the same press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon